Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CBB Nuts video series on data structure series and this is about circular doubly linked list. So before this video we have seen doubly linked list, circular linked list, XOR linked list. If you don't know what is XOR linked list, please watch that. It's memory efficient singly linked list. So if you have followed those videos, let's continue this one. So the first and the important point is it is a combination of circular linked list and doubly linked list. That's why it's called circular doubly linked list. So it actually is a circular uh, linked list, but it is bidirectional. So you can actually point back. And if you want to see in a single node, this is how it looks like. So this is your data here and this is going to be the next one. So next one will actually point to this guy and we have another one which is maybe two. So this is previous. So this one will point here. So if you see this, this is actually a double linked list. You, you, you can go forward and you can come back. But now in order to make it circular, the next of this one should point here and the previous of this one should point here. So if this address is 100 and this is let's suppose 200 then this is 200 and this portion is 100 and this portion is 100 and this portion is 200. So basically it has both the advantage because it is actually a doubly linked list and a circular linked list also. So let's go through the points and advantages here. List can be traversed from both the direction is that from head to tail and from tail to head because uh, let's suppose if this is your head then heads previous is always the tail so you have head and tail both available because if you have head then you have tail also and jumping from head to tail or from tail to head is done in constant time that's what I'm telling and circular W linked lists are used to, for implementation of advanced data structure like Fibonacci heap this is very important so if you know heap uh, they are basically priority queues. So there is something called binary heap, heap and binomial heap. And this Fibonacci heap is very good and its complexity is less than these two heap when it comes to the data structure. And we are using this circular double link list and that art performs these two heaps. And if you already watched my previous video, I have explained that what is the use of or best use of double link list and where you will use circular link list. For small example, double link list is like you can go forward and you can come back. This is what this double link list do. Okay. So whenever you have some application like this, you will use double link list. Now circular link list is actually like this. You have a circular. You will have circle in the list, but it is not double link list you can always go into this direction. You cannot go into this direction. No, this is not available in circular linked list. So the advantage of this or the famous advantage of this one is round robin scheduling in CPU. Now we have simply combined these two data structure and it became circular doubly linked list or doubly circular linked list. This is C. But it has disadvantages also. It takes extra memory in each node to accommodate previous pointer. Actually, this is how it looks like. We have data. I have taken the integer data type for simplicity. And we have previous and next. If you remember, doubly linked list also look like this only. But the point is, in doubly linked list, the end point or the last node doesn't point back to the head. It points to null in doubly linked list. It is actually like this. We have node here, we have node here, we have node here. This one is pointing this one, this is back, this is pointing this one, this is pointing back and here we have null. And in this also we have null. So this is your one, two and three. So this is how your node will look like in double linked list. So this next and previous are also there in double linked list. We are not increasing the storage here if we combine double link list and circular link list but there is an extra operations we do actually lots of pointers involved while implementing or doing operations on list because 
Now we have to maintain two things. It should be doubly linked list and it should be circular linked list. So both the properties we have to maintain in program and I'm not going to show the program because there is no logic in that. And that is big and at the end you will lose the concentration. I know that. That's why I'm not including that and if you want program you can google it and you'll get it. So I think it's the time to sum this video. Thanks for watching guys. And the take home of this video is you now know that the circular doubly linked list actually used in Fibonacci heap. This is very special case of this circular doubly linked list. So remember this and this is your take home. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you will get the notification for upcoming videos like this. Bye bye.